So let's talk about this Vivor snake or drain cleaner. I posted a short about two weeks ago where I used this snake for the first time. A client of mine called me to go snake the floor drain by the boiler room because it was clogged. This snake was definitely successful with that job but what surprised me is the fact that apparently I undercharged that client. Based on most of the comments I basically gave the freaking guy a 50% discount bro. That was never my intention by the way but apparently I think I don't know how to price snake jobs correctly. I think the main reason for that is because since I've been in business which is about 5 years now I have always turned those jobs down. Most of the snakes that I've done throughout the years have been for lines that we have renovated which requires the small hand snake because toilet drains we usually change to the stack. The reason I don't like snaking drains with big snakes is because when I used to work for my old boss I had a bad experience one time. He sent me to go snake a toilet in the Bronx. He notified me for the job in the morning so I picked up the snake from the shop. Keep in mind that this was in the beginning of my plumbing career. The shop clerk that gave me the snake forgot to give me the right gloves for it. So what do I do? I use the regular gloves because I wasn't about to touch shit barehanded. So I start snaking the line and after I'm about 7 feet into the drain the cable gets stuck. As I'm trying to loosen the cable while operating the machine, the cable grabs my glove and two of my fingers with it. Bro, the pain at that moment was intense. My helper was quick with it to put it on reverse and run it a little backwards until my hand got away from it. When I tried to take off my glove, I struggled a bit because of the pain, but after it finally came off, those two fingers looked like fucking sausages, bro. I'm 100% certain that those two fingers were fractured because the pain continued for at least a week after. Of course, that week at work, I struggled with almost every job because one of them was the index finger, so using a drill was impossible. And with New York City plumbing, a drill is probably the most important tool when doing renovations. So since that day, I told my boss that I'm not doing snakes anymore. I know what you're thinking, who the fuck was I to choose the jobs that I did? But at that point in my career, I had become a very good asset to my boss, so he couldn't say shit. Anyways, just because I don't take jobs like this, doesn't mean that they're not profitable. Apparently, they're more profitable than I thought. But the $200 that I charged the guy felt reasonable for a 25 minute job. This job would be the second time I used the Vivor Snake. This machine performed well this time too. Over here by the way the job consisted of raising the drain for one bathroom and one kitchen because it was back pitched. And I thought since I have the snake I might as well use it here too to prevent a future callback. Just because I don't do snakes doesn't mean that I don't know anything about them. I believe I've learned a bit throughout the years. The first step would be understanding what is going through this drain. For example, if it's a bathroom, it would probably be paper. If it's a kitchen, it would be fat buildup. In my case, it's both, so I decide to use the expanded finish cutter. It has serrated teeth for fat buildup and to chop up the paper that could be clogging the line. The bathroom in this job did not have a shower because it was a powder room, so I assume that there is no hair in this drain. The Vivor snake does come with four kinds of different heads, so it is equipped for most common clogs. After removing the clean out, we start snaking the line. It comes with a 50 feet cable, so I thought why not stick the whole thing in. The deeper the better they say, right? The cable went very smoothly in, which meant that the drain was clean. So we take out the cable. Retracting it was very easy, probably because the snake is basically brand new. Also because it is of high quality. Overall, I think it's a great tool. It's definitely worth it for the price point. I think it costs like $250 and apparently it makes its money back in less than one job according to the comments. Also, the gloves that they provide are the right gloves for snakes so you won't have to go through sausage fingers for a whole fucking week like I did. The air activated foot control makes the use of this snake a one man job. I believe this drain cleaning machine is great for homeowners. It appears that they would be saving a lot of money by snaking their own drains. But please do it carefully and follow instructions. And be careful with the gloves. If you're gonna use it in your own house, just fuck the gloves man. Just barehand that shit. It's your shit you're touching anyways. This brand Vivor makes a lot of tools so I'm sure that they know what they're doing. Their customer service is also very responsive. I'm sure that if you have any issues, they will work with you to provide the best solution for you. 
I'll personally continue to deny snake jobs, but I'm definitely not calling another plumber for my own house, so this will be put to use.